the second seminar webinar is uh, about demonstrate or the discount so uh, it is presented by janak misri janak misri doesn't uh, require any introductions but you know we have uh, lots of years spent into the diamond uh, industry in the research he is a scientist and a brilliant mind a uh, lot of depth lot of knowledge in depth about the diamonds and diamond cutting and diamond selling uh, tools and uh, let's let's uh, welcome janak misri janak bhai over to you hi friends today we are going to talk about the tool that has been used to sell goods and services from eternity demonstrate or discount the philosophy behind this tool to sell has stayed the same if one is not able to demonstrate uniqueness in their product then they must resort to offering discounts in the current situation the option to demonstrate your product physically is challenged if you are not able to demonstrate enough the option left is to offer a higher discount diamonds are assumed to be priced based on forces the cut color clarity and carat weight but this is too simplistic or wishful to be true let's check the price of excellent cut excellent symmetry rdc of g color vs2 purity in the size range of 1 carat to 101 on a known integration platform you will see many pieces available to buy with a huge price variance here in this example you will see 530 diamonds ranging in the price from $6044 to $8045 which is 33% more expensive than cheapest available diamond This difference will be much higher for fancy shaped diamonds or diamonds with lower clarity grid. Let's draw analogy with cars. Just assume you are shopping online for a car and you have only four simple describing parameters. Let's say for example, a blue color petrol engine, manual gear, four door sedan with a curb weight of 1575 kg and gross weight of 20 to 20 kg. Will this help you in making the decision? Probably no. So you will ask for more details. Let's assume the following parameters are added in the field of design. The car has four-cylinder engine with piston size of seventy-nine millimeter and a stroke of eighty-one millimeter with total displacement of one five nine zero cc. with first gear ratio of 4.927 and two overdrives with ratio of 0.97 and 0.82 the car has a height of 182 cm and a wheel diameter is 19 inches does this help no then are we doing anything different while selling diamonds we tell the client that the cushion cut diamond that i'm offering has crown angle of 38.5 degree pavilion angle of 39.2 degree total depth of 68% pavilion depth of 56% girdle break of 56 degree and break height of 21% do you think this helps in any way for the buyer to understand the diamond or learn how it looks before we move further let's try to understand major challenges of selling diamonds diamonds and its similitudes offer very unique optical feature which no other object offers it offers brilliance which is an illusory brightness that illusion is built out of local contrast in diamond due to its static look in presence of an observer the way black and white pattern will change when the diamond or the observer moves and the conflicting information of a brain will get when we see the diamond through two eye channels we will talk about brilliance some other time but we have to understand that it is very difficult to judge such optical features from description even a static nice image may not help much in this slide you can see that a diamond has three very important optical features which makes them so desirable the buyer sees that diamond can be beautiful in different ways and trigger different emotions 
the seller has to explain the role of the light and help the buyer understand his preference through parameters that appeal to the emotional or rational brain so as to help select the most personality matching diamond the second most important challenge while selling diamond online is its size the diamond as a product is very small it is difficult to see the details and compare diamonds for newbies without special training here you can see the relative size of a car a mobile phone and a diamond you can hardly see the diamond on this slide so what is important for the buyer to understand the diamond better while buying online it is not easy to justify the difference in diamond's performance forget justifying the price difference currently this takes a lot of time and requires constant tiring push from the seller because diamonds are very small objects and even experts cannot spot fine details remotely diamonds and for that matter all luxury products have considerably high emotional value unless we strike the emotional note of the ultimate buyer it is difficult to complete a deal but at the same time the trade buyer will take a call based on rational thinking she would like to understand what is there for her in the deal images and videos are food for irrational brain while numbers and scores are food for the rational brain only high quality nice movies and relevant optical performance scores can help the buyer understand the diamond these two information should sink in very well such information should be fun and should give interesting experiences cool to share movies and images help fit emotions and uniqueness of appearance so what is important for the buyer large scale videos and pictures clearly demonstrating diamond's actual appearance and beauty that is diamond's impression and the optical performance numbers both are necessary so we learned that forces are not good enough to evaluate the diamond and make a buying decision the forces has to be expanded to help buyers understand the diamond better and take a call based on this new set of information when it comes to color the face up color is more important for the customer similarly it is important to see the transparency of the material si1 grade due to milkiness in a stone makes it much less desirable compared to a stone with an si1 grade because of solid inclusions when it comes to size the face up size visual size is much more important for the buyer than the carat weight of the diamond similarly the diamond has to perform optically it is important to know how well the diamond is designed and cut to bring out its beauty Here you can see some of the important observations necessary for the buyer to understand a diamond while buying it. Such observations will help them understand diamond beauty, like say fire and brilliance, clarity, symmetry, color, and fluorescence. Such videos demonstrate two very important features of diamond: the fire and brilliance. Of course, you see scintillation also here. This media helps the buyer understand the clarity part of the diamond grading. They can see the inclusion chart and better understand how this will affect transparency of the diamond. This media talks about positive attribute of the diamond defining uniqueness and of craftsmanship. The lab grading color observation gives much needed confidence to the buyer. At the same time, such information lets the buyer understand the influence of fluorescence on the diamond's view under different lighting environment. A diamond with positive fluorescence will look much more whiter in an outdoor environment which has more UV light content. Here you can see the look of the diamond in lab grading fluorescence lighting. All the media that's collected should be translated to score so as to feed a rational brain. The trade buyer has to understand how and why this diamond should be selected and how she can propose this diamond to the retailer or the end customer. The buyer has to understand what is there for them in terms of profitability. Fire is colored flashes that we observe in colorless diamonds. Perceived fire strength depends on colored flashes quantity, size, duration, brightness, saturation and distribution. This slide helps you understand how the fire score is arrived at. Crushed cushion on the left has very small amount of invisible fire. 
And the diamonds on the right has much larger and longer visible fire flashes. The old mild style RBC has even more prominent fire flashes. As I mentioned earlier, the diamond brilliance is an illusion caused by the fact that the perceived brightness of an object significantly exceeds its actual brightness. Optical symmetry score helps buyer understand the craftsmanship gone behind the diamond design and its making. The fluorescence grade with the image gives them much needed confidence. Diamonds with the same weight can have different visible size depending on the shape. The visual size is described by the spread characteristics. Positive spread means that a diamond looks larger than Tolkowski round with the same weight and negative means opposite. Spread is a very important and relevant information for the buyer. After all, she is buying the diamond to see how big it looks in a ring and not how heavy it weighs on her finger. All diamonds you see here on this slide weighs one carat, but they have very different face up size appearance. The marquise on top left has almost twice the face up size compared to the cushion on bottom right, though both the diamonds have one carat size. Thus you can see how extension of forces help to compare diamonds. High resolution movies captured under dark field environment can be used to explain clarity. The right top corner SI1 has a very similar look to bottom left SI2 stone. They can be explained using naked eye, loop or microscope magnification. Such profiles can be prepared to demonstrate various performance characteristics to the customer. Finally, though the video and image media made available to the buyer are unedited, the buyer may have certain reservations in the initial period of time. This is one of the challenges of online sales of small luxury articles like diamonds. To win buyer's confidence, the diamonds can be shown to the buyer live over video call using Cutwise Live through mobile cameras. Why mobile cameras? Mobile cameras are the best known cameras to boost confidence as the person on both ends know such camera output. Thank you. So thank you very much for attending and uh, uh, thank you very much Janak Bhai for your uh, nice and informative presentations. It is really helpful and we are using Cutwise Live and customers are with happy seeing diamonds to their, I mean, uh, other ends of mobile phone. So now we open a question and answer sessions. Uh, I request all of the uh, attendees to raise their hands or they can uh, ask the questions into chat box or question and answer session. Uh, so Janak Bhai, uh, these questions we, we gathered through uh, uh, specific questions answer uh, uh, thrown by attendees and our Owen team. So the first question is, in your view, what is the difference between other luxury products in compared to the diamond? So what is the difference between diamond jewelry and other luxury products? Okay. Uh, we know the diamond has got brilliance, correct? Can anybody tell which other object on this earth has got brilliance? I think no, no one. Similar. Maybe you can say a child is brilliant. Okay. So apart from diamonds, you can say only humans are brilliant. You will, you cannot name any other object on this earth, which could be brilliant, which can have a brilliance because brilliance is an illusionary brightness. So when you say this child is bright and this child is brilliant, the difference is the illusionary brightness of this particular child. So diamonds and the diamond simulants are the only product apart from humans, which has got brilliance on this earth. And it is one of the rarest natural diamond, natural product. And its purchase is deeply connected to emotions. True, very true. And um, this is the, uh, you know, luxury of the diamond and diamond industry that it is very rare and uh, it is, it, it is there for, you know, millions of years. So, 
then why we are struggling to sell and eventually not able to expand the shares in the luxury market like you know other products are doing like watches and cards and they are expanding okay another thing that i can just share means to my first answer add to my first answer is the diamonds any diamond that you pick up the natural diamond that is there it has got an existence on this earth from last probably 2 billion years 2 3 billion years no other luxury product you can find apart from gemstones which has got such a life its long history of existence on this earth now coming to your question here in my view it is i think because somewhere we lost our direction we treat one of the rarest luxury product as a commodity we forgot to innovate like say i i heard about your yesterday's seminar where uh, uh ian talked about uh, invisible in, not invisible i think it's uh, illusionary setting or something yep visible okay so floating floating setting yeah yeah floating setting you know so these we forgot so without innovations i think you cannot attract young people you know you talk to young youngsters today they they are not interested in this business or they are not even interested in buying diamonds i came across a very nice comparison chart of market capitalization of tiffany and signet you know once both of these companies has got same value probably uh, i'm talking about 2005 6 or 2006 once similarly valued companies now are having 20 times more difference this implies that the product ticket size is irrelevant because the product from tiffany are, are not cheaper i can give you another example most iconic luxury brand like louis vuitton do not offer any discounts still consumers desire to buy lv products true uh, so in your opinion why people are uh, starting you know when then why people started uh, discounting the diamonds and diamond jewelry i think uh many times i say uh, our grading system has to be you know the culprit behind uh the system that we started developing this counting because our whole evaluation diamond evaluation system is penalty based if your diamond is not excellent it should be penalized if your diamond is not performing means has exactly the perfect cut and arrow uh symmetry then it should be penalized if you got a bow tie it should be penalized if you got a fisha it should be penalized so everything is penalty based if a diamond doesn't have a perfect optical symmetry yes it should be penalized and discount is exactly it contradicts luxury i don't know how how and why this came in i think because the diamond industry is highly fragmented and we forgot to innovate i we we don't have a way we don't we don't we didn't find out a way how to demonstrate the beauty of the material beauty of the diamond if your diamond is beauty cannot be demonstrated the only second option that you have is give discounts so what we did as we don't have a grading system for beauty we try to maximize the mass recovery from the rough diamond and try and sell those diamonds with highest discounts so we compromise beauty as we don't have a system to assess beauty of the diamond we found that probably the second best option is to give discounts so retain highest mass get the maximum recovery make the diamond much look much means much heavier not look uh, bigger in size but much more heavier tip girdle thick girdle tip to protolite very high maybe make little ugly diamond make sure that your diamond recovery is highest and sell it at higher discounts i think this is this lack of tool to demonstrate beauty is i think the main culprit behind we ending up into uh, offering more and more discounts this is exactly the reason why we started cutwise in 2012 we realize that diamond has to means a luxury product like diamond has to 
have that beauty to be shown to client to the customers and we also need to find out a way to create a difference between two diamonds and understand why these one should be expensive so that has to be a score which has to exist and that's the reason why we say like you need to feed the rational brain as well as logical uh, the logical brain as well as emotional brain give both the informations to the customer maybe the end customer is more connected to emotions so he will like to have more images and videos and of course they will like to share those videos with their friends before they you know boast about their new acquisition at the same time the trade buyer has to have you know a tool to understand why he or she has to select this diamond for the client i think i yeah, you want in one of my right. slide about the three areas of uh, the emotion drives you know because diamond has got very important three different uh, optical performances one is scintillation second is brilliance and the third is fire it is very difficult to optimize a diamond which will have a top performance on all the three yeah you can say yeah, like so take for example uh, a diamond with a very high scintillation like say crushed ice cushion or probably a princess cut these diamonds can hide intrusions very well so if you are offering a diamond to a youngster who has got a very sharp vision who can see very tiny flashes also for them such dangling diamonds could be very interesting and as these diamonds could be uh, can this design itself by defect or standard it will hide intrusions so maybe a lower clarity stones of crushed ice cushion design or princess design can be very nice to uh, very nice diamonds for youngsters okay at the same time when you see like say somebody is buying diamonds for the for attending a wedding functions you know if you sell them uh, probably a cluster diamonds jewelry when they go out to the uh, to the evening parties they will see that all other diamonds are shining and their diamonds are dull so they have a feeling of being cheated in fact you should ex ed educate them and explain them that why they should be buying larger pieces because larger pieces will have a much larger virtual facets and virtual large virtual facets only will create a long distance light sources in the evening parties and create a very nice fire at the same time if you talk about uh, a lady buying a jewelry for a day to day office wear probably she can spend little less money and buy a, a cluster jewelry because they will look very bright in a typical office environment so such kind of informations are very important and this will also help us to have a multiple sales to the same customer you know such repeat client are the part of brand building this will help us in selling probably uh, a jewelry for evening parties as well as a jewelry for office wear this is exactly what we do uh, when when they talk about uh, talking to uh, talking about any luxury products you know you buy uh, a luxury watch for uh, special functions and a day to day office wear watches are different correct so i think this correct. is the only way the diamond industry and the jewelry industry can compete with other luxury products so if you can share with uh, the <clears throat> audience the new era of communication that is very very interesting uh, uh, concept and i i i don't know uh, whether many retailers knows about it that you know diamond can be can be marketed on an, on a such way where you know uh, the looking at the personal personality you can you can offer them a various uh, various diamond cuts and the shape and sizes that would be very very interesting for for everyone <laughs> yeah let's say uh, probably i i think i i talked about cut wise in my presentation but maybe if the audience is interested i can just share uh, yeah please yeah okay and uh, when janak bhai is sharing the screen i just spoke to one customer this afternoon and we had a very uh, deep conversations about this he was complaining 
about uh, the next door. The next door is, uh, you know, selling diamonds at a cheaper rate. And we had a, a deep conversation. He said, marketing is not so easy. So we have to fight with the prices. I said, okay, if you're fighting with the prices, you will get what? At the end of the year or at, at the uh, few years, if you are just fighting for the prices, it, it won't be helpful to anyone. Yeah, exactly. Like say, take for example, we are looking at uh, two emeralds. Okay, let me just try and pick up two emeralds of similar sizes. Okay, let me just take these and this. Of course, these are very large sizes, but I can just, uh, okay, I think either we take the other two. Can you see these two emeralds here? Yes, I can see two, both of it, both of them. Okay. Now you can see one on the left has got uh, a little more a darker table center, and one sure. on the is much more brighter. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. So you know you have possibility to propose both the diamonds to different clients, like say somebody is looking for, uh, is very choosy about beauty, probably the one on the right is a much nicer diamond. Okay, so here you can see the diamond has got a much more brighter space. Okay. Now let me go back. So you have all the scores here analyzed, but what is there important for the stone on the left is the stone is little longer. So you can see the size is 12.40 by 7.98. But the other one is 12.26 by 7.99. So definitely the one on the left is looks bigger. So if the client is more choosy about the sizes, then you can offer him the one on the left. Both the diamonds are from the same manufacturer. So before you communicate with the client, I think the right kind of uh, you know, study of the product has to be done by you. Similarly, let, let's go back probably for, uh, for a round stone. Okay. Even let, let's say, take, for example, we will, we will like to go for only rounds of, uh, okay. Just, I'm going to show you one single diamond. Now this is the diamond which is an eye color VS2 purity. The overall cut performance of this diamond is excellent. 0.99. Fire is 104 for a 1.05 carat stone is excellent to outstanding. The brilliance of the stone is excellent. Optical symmetry is outstanding. It's a beautiful stone in terms of symmetry. And the spread is plus 1.1%. That means this diamond has got a physical size of and the face up size is very similar to 106 ideal dot coast. Okay, so definitely you should be able to patch premium for this diamond because this is a beautiful diamond. And you can see all these informations here. You can like, like, take, for example, the symmetry of the stone. It's amazing. See the heart and arrow images. True. Okay, this is a beautiful symmetry. And you can also show what are the inclusions in the stone. You can see there is, there is a, there are, there's a, there's a crystal in the stone. There are some pinpoints. There's a feather in the table. There is a needle there somewhere and there's some internal graining. You know, internal graining, you could not see very easily, but you can see here on this image. Correct. Yep. So you could see all inclusions informations. You can also see how the face up size of the diamond compares and you can see how the color compares. Like say this diamond is an eye color stone and you can see how it compares with the master stones from GI. So the, on the right is a J master, J plus master from GI. On the left is I plus master on the GI from GI. So you know this stone has been graded correctly. So all this information can boost the confidence of the buyer. Right. 
so thank you very much for sharing this all information uh, i can i can come back to the attendees if they have some questions otherwise uh, you know uh, we have uh, we reach at the destinations where we have to conclude the uh, presentations to be ready for the next one uh, is there any question raise the hand or just type the questions into the chat box okay i think your uh, presentations uh, answer all of their questions uh, so there is no any questions as of now uh, we thank you very much for all attendees and janakbhai especially uh, to you for sharing us a useful informations into this uh, webinar the webinar will be continue in uh, uh, two more uh, series of the uh, diamond freeway uh, coming up uh, hitesh goti will be presenting the company's uh, services very soon thank you very much and have a nice evening thank you thank you all have a nice day